Hi, this is Vivian. Welcome to JNB Experience. We are here in Calgary for our Christmas edition. And we have a very special guest. It's our very dear Lala Rose. And she is going to bake for us her specialty ube cake. Let's find out! Hello! This Hi. is my very special Lola, Lola Rose. <laughs> and she is going to show us how to bake her specialty ube cake. So Lola Lola We're gonna Rose. try. Yeah! Show us how to do it. Okie dokie. Hi. This is uh, the ingredients for the ube cake that we're gonna uh, make today. Two cups of flour and I have my uh, uh, copy here. Um, two teaspoons baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, and one teaspoon uh, um, salt, and uh, one half cup of evaporated milk and three quarters uh, cup of uh, plain yogurt and uh, of course we need the flavoring this is uh, ubi flavoring and we need uh, a tablespoon of that and uh, this one is uh, vanilla about maybe uh, we can put two teaspoons and uh, four eggs and one cup of sugar uh, one and a half cup of uh, oil just canola and uh, one bottle of uh, Obi Halaya, but you have to uh, reserve one third because you have to make the um, what do you call it? the icing later when the cake is done and then uh, cooled off. Okay, so what we do is put everything together, do the uh, dry ingredients first. Oops, I do. Okay, there. Give it a, sh a, a, a stir just to incorporate and set aside. And we are going to uh, mix this all up. Evaporated milk, plain yogurt. Looks like a lot of ingredients, but uh, actually it's not very much. It's not bad. Scrape it all off. And then, the egg goes in here. And get just reserve maybe a third or a quarter, whatever, whatever your uh, preference. This is sticky, so you have to really work your muscles here. And okay, well. Setting that aside. Oh, and you need a. Uh, kind of. Because I think this is uh, cold. That's why it's taking so long. Okay. While I'm doing this, maybe uh, if you want to shut off it. <laughs> Uh, it uh, looks like that there's no coloring being an ubi purple one, so you have to put almost like uh, one tablespoon of the uh, ubi flavoring see. to come alive. And 
and then the uh, vanilla. I will uh, two teaspoons is good. Where did I put this on? Oh, this would be. And this it's aside. I need my. Uh, now we're mixing the oil and the sugar together. We're just going to cream it a little bit. Oh, okay, uh, we, uh, before you do all the baking and mixing all together, make sure to uh, get your pan ready, which we forgot to do, and uh, make sure that it's uh, greased. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm putting uh, butter in it. and. Uh, I'm still gonna put this part on paper to make sure that it won't stick on the bottom. Okay, so that is ready, and let's put this aside. And I'll just uh, wipe my hands. Okay, then we're gonna be back. Okay, so we already mixed the sugar and the oil. And then it's time to, uh, to, to turn on the mixer. You start slow so it won't splatter all of you. Just for a few seconds. Just so the, um, the sugar will uh, melt a little bit. And then the egg. You can put it one at a time. Then we go back to the liquid, I mean the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients. While it's doing that, we need to, when you're doing this, you have to go alternately and then start with the flour. I just want to stop it because I don't want everything all over. Start with the one cup. And then the uh, wet ingredients. You can just do this in two addition. It's a really good color maybe it's too. Then the dry ingredients, about a cup, a half a cup. And then the last of the uh, OB flavored and the OB halaya. And we're gonna be purpley. Okay, a little mixing again. And before you uh, put on the last flour, try to uh, do the bottom part. Make sure that the sugar is already dissolved and nothing in the bottom is sticking down there. Because if the sugar is not dissolved, your cake is not going to uh, it's not, it's not going to rise up. Then put the last one of these. And just slow. And I actually just finish it up with, the, with my spatula. Because you don't want to over, over bake, I mean, or not bake, over uh, mix. Otherwise, it will be a tough cake. And that's it. Well, I'll taste it. Hmm. Okay, that be it. And that's it.
we're just gonna put it in a baking pan and bake. You have to bake this at uh, 350, um, preheated on um, 350. Oops. And then uh, just uh, make a little tap just to keep it uh, even and uh, so the bubbles will come up. See that? Bubbles there. Okay, and that will be 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, we are done with this. Not quietly done, but we have to, uh, we're ready for this to put in the uh, oven. Okay. It's preheated already. And, okay. and this will go for uh, 30 minutes. And then we'll check if it's not quietly done. Then uh, add 5 more minutes or 10 minutes. And uh, it will be okay after that. Okay, we're back. And I'm tapping the uh, um, butter because this is going to be my um, icing. One cup of butter, and then about uh, one third of uh, the extra OBM. And uh, well, it depends on how many, how much color you want in there. I mean, you may need the OB flavoring too. But if you don't want the flavoring, the yam has already a hint of a, a purple color in it. It's not to be very creaming in it. is a sort of a stabilizer I guess so it uh, should be included right. mm -hmm. then we will do it again just small and slowly at first By the way, this is the jackfruit that I'm using. I, we could put on top, or uh, there's so many brands, but this is what I got. So you can go to a uh, Asian store. Sounds and good. Asian store. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh, icing sugar. Um, I probably would love to put uh, one and a half cup only. I don't know if it's going to be very good. Try a cup first. This is a lot, but it's just easy for me to uh, put it in. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to uh, check this one if this is uh, okay, soft enough. Then we can put not the sugar yet, but okay. it's getting there. Then we can put this already. Put the reserve uh, ubi uh, halaya. That was uh, earlier. We did. And then let it run again. I 
just put half a cup of sugar and then uh, another half a cup. And that's a cup already. So we don't know. We we'll have to taste it after. And if it's too thick, um, you just put uh, some uh, cream to make it lighter a little bit. so thick because maybe it's colder here um, I'm uh, adding uh, heavy cream to make it lighter <clears throat> Sometimes it's not equally dis distributed, but it's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. Choosing 1M, I think this is 1M. Is it? Uh, I know. What does it say? Yes, 1M. 1M. <laughs> I'm using a 1M uh, okay. mold. And then. And then cut the plastic. Come on, open up. My hand is a little bit slow. And maybe we can try this one. I'm not sure if this one. This is going to be my first time if I try this one. I don't know how if this is gonna work. I'm not sure. They don't want me to be open. <laughs> 